YouTube, just a quick video uh, um, from RC Action Australia here. Just pulled out majority of my TLO1 collection. There's still some in boxes, so um, but these are my runners. Um, they all, bar the one on the end, um, they all work. They've all got their own radio gear. They all get used quite frequently. Never have any issues with them. They're a solid remote control car. So just have a quick look. Um, got a Barjar Champ here. Full original manual speed control setup for Tarva radio gear. Um, MCI racing decals um, and a different um, colour scheme. Another one here with the Titan 12 turn setup in it. Um, had this just from another car that I had laying around that I'd previously sold. So I thought I'd just use it. It's lightning quick. This car is quick. Um, got the Porsche, um, uh, sorry, the Ferrari 360 Challenge. Um, it's in very good condition and it is um, like pristine this car here again for Tava radio gear fully ball raced um, We've got the special edition um, WRX that was a pre-finished body fully ball raced from the factory I believe um, I said it's been stripped and put new ball bearings hobby wing 1060 high-speed gear set um, and adjustable sort of steering here, low profile digital s servo, digital receiver setup. Um, I run lipos on this, it is lightning fast. It's 27 turn motor, but it is quicker than, um, it, it's, it, it's something, obviously the gear ratios, um, just make this car very quick. I don't know what it is, and obviously running the LiPo, but um, that is a very, very cool car to take out, and it, so people get very impressed. It's quicker than my mate's um, Kyosho, brand new Kyosho Phaser um, with a LiPo and, and a brushless setup, so, so that is a very quick remote control car. Um, this is my original stadium rotor from 1999, um, and obviously very period of how it's been done up, the old big LRP runner speed control for Tarva radio gear, um, the Mabuchi sport tuned motor, um, as I said I've still got all the original manual speed control and everything for this so that, that's, that's a cool car, just don't have the original wheels and tyres but they look pretty cool on there. And this one here was um, just a built chassis that's never been used um, with the Porsche body. So I got this off eBay for under $100. So the actual car itself has never been used. Um, I've rebuilt it with um, full ball bearings and everything. So, um, and there's not a mark on it. But when we go to the body, it appears that someone hasn't put the stickers on very good and they must have used the body with another car. Um, it's got a bit of a damage here and the light's scratched, but I've got a whole new sticker kit for that. So um, we'll fix that up and get it looking brand new again. But yeah, guys, that's my TLO1 collection. As I said, I do have some more, but they're um, in boxes, um, not built. So hit like, subscribe, we'll try and get some videos up with some of these running. Um, as I said, they're a very cool car, very reliable and to tell you the honest truth, I'd rather take um, my Bajar Champ, that's my runner, and my um, Tello One with the WRX body. I take these out quite frequently, and they're better than my TTO Two, um, and a lot better than my mate's Kyosho Phaser. So people might not believe that and say, "Oh, you know, that's rubbish," but as I said when we're racing around out there the um the better cars um as i said you're looking at you know 16 plus year old car here um it's it's pretty cool so um maybe not 16 but uh, yeah getting there pretty old school sort of to me a stuff that's still very competitive with a lot of the newer newer cars out there um so as I said, hit like, subscribe. I've also got an Instagram um, page, RC Action Australia. Go check that out, guys. Um, yeah, thanks.